How is it Huffin Jankheads? Welcome back to Spore. I've been thinking, what is the most alien creature on Earth? Obviously, Spore is a game with evolution taking place on alien planets in an alien galaxy, we can presume. And so, what species from Earth would most fit in in this bizarre alien world? Well, there are certainly a few good options, and I think you can make an argument for all kinds of things. However, my personal bet for what would be the most alien-esque Earth creature would be the octopus. I mean, nine brains, a beak, uh, eight arms, they're so weird and so cool. I mean, they're so smart, live in the ocean, Can some of them can like walk on land for a little while. They're so cool. They're so cool. And after we did shark last time, I've kind of been in the sea creature mood. So we're going back to back oceanic creature evolution with an octopus, everybody. So first things first, as you know, we need to pick a planet. What do we got? Oh, okay. We do have a blue one, which I mean, if we're an octopus, we want our planet to essentially be an ocean probably. So yeah, so yeah. I think the blue will work. A pretty oceanic planet through and through. Of course, we're going to start as a cell because we need to see what the most octopus-like cell is or can be. Now, as for our diet, hmm, uh, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that the majority, if not all octopus, I, oct octopi, octopuses, are carnivorous so we're gonna go carnivore and I think though I think to be fair we're gonna try to end in omnivore because the mouth will the mouths will get in creature stage will be better for the octopus than the carnivore ones will so we'll go for an omnivore run in general still no theme let's just see if we can maybe get a good what's the most octopus like carnivore you know what actually that's kind of like squid-esque so I think we'll take that and then difficulty level will go normal. I mean, I think the octopus's world is fairly normal in general. For the planet, I think we can go fairly simple here. There's one kind of sticking out. Octoplanet is a little too easy to not just go right ahead and do that. Now, obviously we're gonna ride our beautiful little meteor past the sun. However, I don't need to see that and neither do you. Break out of that meteor, beautiful. Look at us go. All right, so, you know what? We actually kind of almost look like uh, an octopus egg sack, if you've ever seen those. Like, they, like, plant them on rocks, and then they're just, like, little sacks of egg that octopus hatch out of. We kind of almost look like that right now. So I think this is definitely the best cell we could have started to choose with. So, we could have chose to start it with. That's what I meant to say. Now... What are the, what's the first uh, sort of part we're going to go with? Well, I mean, I think we can all agree that amidst the octopus, the octopus's many uh, defining traits, I think it's eight arms, considering it is a part of its name, you know, with octo and all that. I think it's eight arms is its most defining quality. So I think our goal for cell stage is going to be to get eight arms which really only means we need four flagella because that you know we split that in two that gives us eight so that's not gonna be too bad but it will it might make it a little bit tough to get anything else on top of that for the time being though um you know what let's get to 20 just so that we can ride out the gate oh wait no i need 15 to get another flagella don't i oh that's right so i would need 30 to get two more Yikes. Okay, yeah, you know what? I guess, is there anything else we could get? Octopus don't usually have spikes, I don't think. So I, I wouldn't really feel like that would make sense. Wouldn't, don't really need any more eyes. I mean, some are poisonous. So if we find poison, we could get that this time. So that's, that's an option. That's not going to be an option soon, though. All right, you know what? Just because I feel like we might as well go to get as many arms as we can just on our first evolution i'm just gonna swim around get to 30 and we'll just arm this boy to the teeth oh god i think uh you know as terrifying as that is this is undoubtedly our distant related ancestor the almighty squidward 
Oh, he is majestic. Six arms, so, you know, not a true octopus. They're certainly not our friends, especially because he's trying to eat me right now. Oh, God. Oh, I might be eaten. I might, I might, I might be eaten. Oh, maybe if we can get him distracted on something else, that might be our only... Uh-oh. No, he's still coming, isn't he? Okay. Um, is there any way I can escape this? Yes, perhaps we can hide amongst the grass. Don't bite me, you bastard. I'm low health. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's going to rock it right into me. Oh, perhaps we escaped. I still need food, or I'm going to die, but I think we escaped, at least for the time being. Here, come here. Come here. I'm so close to 30, too. If I can just get a little bit more food. You know what? Just eat this. Get that health back. Beautiful. That's not that much health back. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah, you better. Yeah. Hell yeah. Is that 30? Ah, we're two off. Man, I'm gonna do the whole damn cell stage at this rate if I'm not, uh, if I'm not careful before I even evolve. So the omnivore mouth would be nice to get, uh, especially because it would be cheaper than getting, than getting both the other ones. So I will go for the omnivore mouth. I think we might as well. Okay, you know what, buddy? I really cannot deal with you right now, so you're gonna have to get lost. I'm at 28 still. I still don't have enough to evolve. No, 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 damn it. Well, I guess that is the life of a octopus egg sack. I think I did remember reading somewhere. Ooh, I wouldn't mind getting that poison. I did remember reading somewhere that octopus stay in their egg sacks for like a really long time. Like they have a really long gestation period. I guess gestation might only be for like mammalian pregnancies or whatever, but still. I think it makes sense. Either way, we're so close to 30. I know we can get there. Come on, you fucker. Dude, I, I almost killed him. I almost killed him. If I can just get it like a sneak attack on him, then that would be so huge. No, no, no. Oh, and I'm dead again. Shit! Okay, well, we're not losing DNA. Come on, man. Just give me two more. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. Yes, that's 30. Okay, before I die, just let me mate come here beautiful i love you no 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 oh god that was close okay well we did it cool well i don't have the omnivore mouth nor poison yet so we're not gonna do any of that however just to kind of get us in the omnivore well i guess switching to a herbivore mouth does kind of feel against the the vibe of the octopus so I'll, we'll stay carnivore until i can get omnivore all right I'm fine with that, especially because we do also need to have a way to kill the uh, the omnivore mouth guy anyway. So, yeah. All right, now, we're going to lead with our mouth still. So, if I'm going to make the most octopus-esque body plan that I can, I feel like... Let's juice up the tentacles. Give them two extra sets so we're almost at our max amount of arms which is beautiful and now he's kind of got that bulbous head going on which is octopus s we'll give him kind of a small mouth i suppose and then we're definitely very squiddy at the moment but hey the uh the first step to every great octopus is a squid as we all know why is one tentacle wrong what the hell hold on can i just like oh there we go that was weird. All right, well, there you go. We have six of our eight arms. We can't get anything else, so I'm just going to keep, I guess, the eye stalks. Yeah, you know what? We don't usually use these. I'm fine with using the eye stalks. I don't know where they really fit best, though. Ah, we'll just put them back there. Yeah, why not? All right, now what's the most octopus-esque pattern we can get? I mean, there's some that kind of have more texture to them. I think this looks vaguely like the, uh... Oh, uh, looks vaguely like the blue ring octopus, I think it's called, from Australia. Okay, I kind of like that. I think that's kind of the right color. Here, you know what? Let's, uh, maybe a darken it. No, that's a little too dark. Uh, lighten it up a little bit. Okay, kind of Broncos colors, so I fuck with that. And, yeah, all right, I'll take it. Now, this is the, well, it's not actually an octocell because we only have six arms. So, for now, this is just the squid cell which is against the title of the video but don't worry we're on our way to an octopus a true blood octopus now let's get back into the water keep floating around i'm gonna go for an omnivore mouth and poison next oh we're so much faster baby oh yeah all right you 
are going down. Oh god, I do forget how actually dangerous those fucking things are. Well, at least we're fast, so I don't have to really worry about being hunted as much. I'm gonna try not to actually grow, though, right now, because I really... Am I on the level where I can get an omnivore mouth, or is this just the level where I can get poison? It might just be the poison level. Shit! Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, man! Without spikes, those squids are hard to kill, man. Alright, well, I'll keep going around and see what I could do. I do want to be poisonous. Alright, I have another squid in my sights. Now, the most important thing about the octopus's brain is how smart it is. And that's also one of its best hunting components. Its ability to outsmart its prey and strike where it's vulnerable. Out. Okay, well, um, okay. That doesn't work if your prey can turn on a dime, but... Hey, ah, oh, god damn it, don't kill me, don't kill... Oh, shit, man. Hmm, hmm. I feel like there's not even another way to get poison after this, so I'm gonna have to keep looking around for now. Oh, wait, I wonder if this guy will die. He's kind of in danger. Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on, come on. No, 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 no! Ah! Come on, get him while he's distracted. Shit! We got a large predator on this squid. Come on, buddy. Come on, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm waiting for this squid to die, you dick. Yeah, that's right. You better run away. Come on, did the squid die? No, the squid's still there. Come on, biggin. No! Come here, you. He's distracted on another prey, but if I get in there, then... Ah, he always turns and gets me, man. How do you kill these damn squids? Oh, I got one bite off on him, and then he still killed me. Man, I am struggling here. Hmm. I don't know any other strategy on how to kill these things other than, like, waiting for one to get eaten by something bigger. But, I don't know. That's kind of, uh... It's kind of taking a while. You know what? I wonder if maybe, uh... Come here. You two. You two. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Biggin. Squid and biggin. Come on. Converge right here. Oh, God. Don't bite me. Bite each other. Uh, oh, wait, did that squid die? I think he just despawned. Fuck! Oh, and I grew. Well, shit. I was kind of just trying to get a little bigger so that I could maybe best the squid. And now I'm too big to get the part from them. All right, well... Oh, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Wait, the, it's right there. Hold on, let me free. Let me free. I just immediately got the omnivore mouth. Oh, my God. Well, that was easy. Okay, um, I guess I kind of might as well just switch to that right away so I can get working on some plant life. So that way we can actually end in omnivore. Oh, oh, it's 20. Oh, I didn't realize how much more expensive it was. Well, never mind then. We'll just keep the jaw and uh, yeah, I'm not really going to change anything. Okay, well, we're too big to get poison from the squid. Is there something else I can get poison from? I think there is. Yeah, the puffer fish. That's right. Okay, well, we still have a chance to get poison, but for now, we're just gonna be back to growing, hunting, and, uh, getting that last arm, baby! Oh, good job, boys! Pack hunting squids, hello? Nope, that's my meat. I guess you probably can't even eat that shit. What the hell are you doing going after my meat like that? Oh, munch. Oh, wait, a rock! <gasps> a golden rock, this could have poison in it. Please be poison, please be poison. Poison! Let's go! God has smiled on the octopus today. All right! Oh, God, okay. We've grown again, and now we're in the uh, electric minefields, you could say. Bit of a treacherous zone for certain, but hopefully our speed will keep us safe here. I'm almost... Oh, oh, God. That was perhaps not the brightest idea I've ever had, but hey, we almost got that prey from it. Oh, come here. Come here. We're almost at 15, so if I can just get three more DNA. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, we're so close. One more. One more, and then we can get that last arm. Oh, come on, ducky. Yes! Oh, get bested at every opportunity. Uh-oh. Nope, we're fine. We got 15, so we're gonna leave. Come here, baby boo. Yeah, there you are. All right, now as much as I would love to get poison, we are going to first complete... The eight-armed octopus, yes! We might as well make these grow all the way as well. Keep that right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Rearrange those just a little bit. Nice! Okay, I like the look. We're gonna go ahead and now get, let's see, probably the next thing we gotta go for is get 10 more DNA to upgrade to the omnivore mouth. And then from there, we can try to work on poison, but I did hint at this at the start. It may be hard to get all that stuff 
yeah, since we don't have very much DNA. But at least once we evolve onto land, then maybe we can get that stuff. I mean, we're still going to have to spend a lot on limbs. So that's kind of going to be the name of the game for this series. Wow. With uh, that new pair of arms, we very quickly grew again. And, uh, oh, these guys do have those little spikes on, on them, unfortunately. These little bacteria-looking fucks. Ah, it's not, it's not enough to deter a hungry octopus, though, I'll tell you that. Oh, wait, I forgot to change our name. We're no longer Squid Cell, we're Octocell. Damn it! Okay, hold on. That is something that must be immediately rectified. There we go, come on. Squid Cell, no thank you. Hey, I said no thank you. Octocell, she's beautiful. Great, now back to hunting. Alright, got 10, nice and easily. We're already on our last level of size, though. So, well, not quite the last level, but we're basically there. That may mean it's going to be a bit hard to actually land an omnivore. I'm going to have to suck up a lot of plant matter. But hey, that's okay. Our little octopus guy is going to have a little bit of a peaceful stint in the cell stage, just while he's growing. Oh, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. Maybe I'll alter his color a little bit. We'll go for a bit more of a reddy. Kind of that... Well, I guess vampire squid is a squid, but kind of that more color scheme. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. All right, back into it. Let's just suck up some plant matter until we got a brain is... Uh, well, that's the goal for now. And we've ascended all the way to the murky muddies of the... Well, I guess, are we near the surface? Or maybe we're actually really deep down. Oh, shit. I should not have sucked that egg. Damn it. Idiot. Only suck green. No egg. Well, all right. We're still very slowly making our way towards Omnivore. Oh, my God. There is not much plant life here. At least with our advanced speed, I'm able to stay, oh, my God, away from most predators. But damn, some are still fast. Okay. Okay. Avoid the that big. No, don't suck the. Oh, damn it. I, I sucked the egg again. Listen, guys, I'm sucking as much green as I can, but these eggs, I mean, they just keep falling into my fucking open mouth. What can I say? All right, we only need, well, I don't know exactly how many more we need to evolve, but we're probably going to end with 10 DNA left. Eh, I don't know. I mean, obviously, our DNA value is going to completely change when we go to land, so that's going to be a whole nother story. But if I can just grab that, there we go, baby. Now we are octopus with a brain, which is definitely a defining feature of our particular species. Congratulations, you're on the path to sentience. Why, thank you. I'd love to evolve. Now, did we make it to omnivore? I almost, I'm almost certain we didn't. Yeah, not even close. So, we're going to get raging roar for a creature stage rather than summoning flock. So that's fine. That's fine. And that's all that's really going to... I guess, no, that's right. So, once we're in tribal stage, we'll get traps rather than flying fish. Okay, I mean, that's fine. That's octopus coded. And then later than that, we'll just have to see when we get there. But for now... Oh, God, his eyes are rolling back. Dude, are you okay? Damn, some getting a brain is just too much for some people. Okay, hell yeah. So, I am going to get rid of all these, and we are going to try our damnedest to uh i guess I get rid of this too i'll get rid of everything for now we're gonna try our damnedest to have this thing actually have eight limbs which will probably mean it has no feet and it may also mean it has nothing else um how much do these cost by the way 50 so okay at the moment we could get three pairs and then maybe something else if we sell the feet yeah okay so they cost they actually cost 30, which means we could get... Oh, that means we could get four pairs. Oh. We could get four pairs and then have 30 left. Well, shit. Okay. I guess we ought to do it then. I don't exactly know how I want to design this thing to, you know, be an octopus. But... Um... I mean, we already kind of got the basic body structure right. So... I don't think this will be too hard. Uh, okay, let's put it low to the ground for now. And then I'll shorten this up a bit more as well. I don't think that needs to be that long. And then should it have... Wait, maybe it should be the head facing forward? No, but the mouth should be facing forward probably. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll do that. And it does... An octopus should really have a beak, which does mean this would be the most accurate thing. However, 
I'm gonna give it the omnivore mouth because that will lead into, well, more actual beaks once we're on land, as well as the uh, kind of more like leech-like mouths, which we could also go in that direction. We'll kind of have to see what we end up feeling like when we get there. But for now, we are gonna try our darndest to give this bad little boy eight limbs. Okay, you know what? We're gonna have these kind of go up a bit more and then we'll make the rest of them kind of going back. So we'll put like that there and put that like folding over maybe. Oh God, this is, this is horrifying. This isn't gonna work at all. Maybe we should just go for a bit more of a straight down like yeah, you know what? We should do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I still kind of want it to look like the tentacles are, like, dragging on the ground. You know, like how when octopus do actually get on land sometimes, they just be dragging on the ground like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We only only have half the amount of arms that we actually need. And wait, we're also we're already down to 65. Wait, am I stupid? Didn't we start with 150? That should mean we can get five sets of arms, but we're only allowed to get four. Oh, because I already have the mouth. Oh, right, so we're only gonna have five left. Well, we'll, we'll have enough for eyes, so I guess that's all we're technically gonna need. All right, another set of arms. We'll throw these back here, and then, um, you know what? Maybe we'll actually put these kind of like here, and then put this kind of like there, and then we'll fit another pair of arms right there. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, I mean, okay. I think that works. Now, what eyes? We could just keep going with the stock eyes just because that's kind of, kind of funny for an octopus. Yeah, okay. That looks pretty adorable. Here, you know what? Let me just do that. Do that. And yeah, you know what? I <laughs> think we got ourselves an octopus, boys. Shit, man. You know, I'll put this even a little bit more front facing just for you buddy oh now you're being difficult with me okay you know what we'll just do that there you go he's just got his little sucker yeah sick all right let's go to paint zoom out and well i actually god i gotta say i already kind of like the the paint scheme we got going on here but you know what let's change his skin texture to be a little bit more how you say a uh, gelatinous maybe this and then we'll keep that sort of well, you know what? Someone did complain about all my shit being red, which is kind of weird. I don't even like red that much. But what other colors are octopus? I guess we could go back to orange for that blue-ringed octopus look. I feel like octopus are kind of classically red. Hmm. We'll start with orange at least. I'm down for that. And it got rid of it got rid of our pattern, so we're gonna have to redo that as well. Okay. Well, that's fine. Give me a second to get this thing painted. Okay. I mean, in my vague memory, this is kind of what the coloring of a blue ringed octopus looked like so yeah i'm gonna go with that and you know what it's not red it's still got blue and it's still got orange i feel like i do also use a lot but anyway it's not red so this is no longer octocell we're gonna call this the protopus uh yeah yeah that's i mean that's fine right yeah you know what? We'll call it the Proctopus, huh? Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, okay, yeah, I think, yeah, okay, okay. Let's take this baby to land. Swim on up, my friend. You are no longer, ooh, well, that looked a little, that looked a little weird, but you are no longer a simple ocean-dwelling amoeba. You are a land creature with bones, probably, and skin, almost certainly, and most importantly, a brain. Let's see how these boys can handle the move, the shift. I mean, obviously we know they're great swimmers. Um, I am interested to see how they're actually gonna walk, considering, oh God, considering they don't have feet um, and they have eight arms. Oh, are you, okay, so they kind of have our like, they're making each side of their arms kind of like into one leg almost. Oh, okay, nope, nope, okay, yeah, there's kind of just like waddling around. And of course, there's a log right in our path. Is someone gonna get squished? Oh God! Oh God! B buddy, are you are you good? Oh oh. Eh, okay. Well, Greg got left behind, but hey, I guess someone always does in these migrations. And here we are, everybody, right on Earth, right on our home. Well, not Earth. Certainly not Earth. But uh, something like Earth. Look at us. 
Oh my god, we are so cute. We are so cute. Okay, well, first things first, obviously we're going to save. But, what's our first objective here? I think, generally, it makes the most sense for the octopus to be in the middle. Obviously, they are very adept predators, but they're also so smart, they can be social creatures. So I feel like it makes most sense for them to be in the middle so we're gonna generally try to end creature stage in adaptable which means i think to start we might as well go around and make some friends well let's see what parts we get first might as well run over here we don't have any abilities to use so this is yeah that's that's as fast as we're gonna go for the time being this is just as fast as we're gonna move so that's not ideal we also got a carnivore mouth to start with so that kind of sucks hopefully we do actually get the omnivore mouths are we going to get omnivore mouths? I really hope we do. If Just because we ended Cell Stage at Carnivore, we don't get Carnivore mouths, that will be really annoying. Huh. Well, I guess we'll have to see. Either way, we're going to make some friends with the Gunk Worms. Hey, boys. You guys are nice and simple. And... Yeah. Easy peasy. All right. Some simple little worms are the perfect things to make friends with. And do they have an alpha? They do. Sick. All right, so we'll get a part from him and a part from that. And then we'll go make friends somewhere else. Oh, boy. It sure is fun walking around very, very slowly as an octopus. If only there was something I could listen to or watch to fill up this time. That's right. This video is sponsored by the All Right Men channel. That's right. That's my second channel, and there's a link to it in the description, and you should go watch it. Meatly. Hello. Oh, Jesus Christ. You have quite the look to you, my friend. Oh, good. Oh, good Lord. Oh, that's just, that's just vile. All right. Well, as much as I don't really want to be these things friends, I even more so do not want to uh, fuck with them. So yeah, I'm just going to sing to them instead. But uh, yeah, I, I, I was serious about that, by the way. You should go check out the All Right Men channel. The link is in the description, and we make really good stuff over there. Okay, let's keep singing. Yay. And just like that, oh, not only are we friends with the Meatleys. Oh, do you, do you see that? That thing's standing on his head. Oh, shit. Well, we also have a bigger brain. Hell yeah. You know what that means? Was he standing on his head? Dude, I could have sworn he was standing on his head. But you know what that means? We can have a pack now. So, we'll go and get some friends. I think first of all, before we even do that, I'm going to go around at least a little bit more. Oh, they don't like us very much. Carnage. Oh, okay. I guess that's an apt name. Rather terrifying. Okay, well, they don't like us, so I'm not going to go over there. Um, I can make friends with these guys, maybe? Who are you? Oh, it's them, the little shark guys. Oh, that's that's apt. Like a, a little fellow ocean creature as a friend. Hello there. I'll make friends with you. All right, I'll sing to these shark boys. Then we'll go back and boost up our pack. And then we'll also, I guess, we'll get a look at uh the park, the parts we've been locked so far. I will say, based on just what I've seen, it does seem like. We are getting carnivore mouths, which is my bad. I didn't realize that was the case. I kind of thought it was based on what mouth you had. I guess it makes more sense, though. We're technically are a carnivore, even though, I mean, we are an omnivore because we have, we can eat either food. I don't know. It's weird. I do think we're going to be stuck in carnivore mouths, though, unfortunately. So, you know, I guess that may be just kind of true to form maybe all octopus truly are carnivores and in that way i'm actually more um realistic so maybe that's true but since we are going to be stuck in carnivore mouths i think uh we're going to go with the like pincer types that are in the bugs and i'll try to make those look like a beat a beak flute oh all right i'll go make friends with the flutes i'm just going to make friends with these guys and then that'll probably be it we'll go evolve after you know, as annoyingly slow as this octopus is at the beginning of its life, it is also pretty cute. I gotta admit that. This thing's pretty cute. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's just wobbling. Look at him go. He's so cute. All right, I'm grabbing some bones over here. I could also talk to the banana worm. Ooh, big buff boys. Well, they're chill. I guess I'll also go make friends with them, but I'm gonna grab some parts first just to make sure we have plenty of options when we do actually evolve. Who's over here, just out of curiosity? Someone angry. A necking. 
Yep. All right. Yeah, those guys are dangerous. All right. Not going to go over there, but I'll make friends with the banana worms. And blammo. Nice. I like having these little guys as friends. They're cool. Now, just after making all those friends, we're already almost inadaptable. So we're getting there. We're still going to need to be social for a while, but we're getting there. Now, let's go have our first real evolution and finally become a true goddamned octopus. Hey, you. You want to be friends? Oh, shit. He's singing. Hey, I didn't know you were cool like that shit, man. All right, you're in my gang. Now you, beautiful. I would love it if you would uh, lay my egg sacs for me. I assume that's how octopus flirt anyway. Now, let's get rid of this so that we can get these. Unfortunately, yeah, we are stuck in carnivore mouths. I could also get this, I guess, but <laughs> I do think the most accurate thing is going to be to get this and then... Here, let's get it in there. There. And then, I guess here, let me use tab to do that. And then I'll get rid of one of them. There we go. So that now we kind of have more of a beak. But we are still, we are at this point going to be fully carnivorous. Which, again, maybe all octopus are carnivorous. Let me know if that's the case. And I'll just count it as a happy accident. But for now, I think I may actually kind of just leave the arms as is. I don't really think they're going to need an upgrade for a while i will get rid of the eyes we'll get some new eyes on him but all right i think that's looking pretty good let's go to eyes what do we actually have we do have some stock eyes we could use which i was i was kind of liking to be fair and then we do also have these we can use don't think i want any of those or they're they're the things they become yeah, you know what? We don't usually use the stock eyes. We're doing an octopus. Let's just make use of it and do some stock eyes just for fun. Don't believe there are any octopus with stock eyes, but hey, it's still fun, right? Yeah, look at him go. Man, this thing really isn't an, an alien at this point. I mean, just proves my point. Octopus are very alien looking creatures. Oh, he's beautiful though. Okay, we still have 163 left, so that's actually pretty solid we don't have any new arms or limbs anyways to use so we won't worry about those we may eventually get some hands oh you know what these are actually ooh these are essentially tentacles okay you know what instead of going for legs first like we usually do i'm going to lower these arms a little bit so that he's actually kind of like propped himself up on his body or on his arms Propped his body up on his arms. And we'll shorten these just so it really looks like he's, like, propping himself up. Beautiful. Now, for these front arms, we're going to take these and whip them around. And then throw these little graspers on them. Which do kind of just look like the ends of tentacles, but with thumbs. So, I think, that's, I think that works pretty well. And that will give us the ability to grasp things. Which, obviously, octopus can do very well. We don't really have the option to give them suckers. Unless there's another hand that might be better. Actually, isn't there one with suckers? Oh, I think there is. Okay, we might try to go for that then. I can't remember where it is though, so we might just have to wait until we get it. Either way, this does also give us pose level 2, so that's pretty sweet. And we still have 138 left to use. Interesting. Well, I'd certainly like something that would uh, allow him to go faster, considering he is very slow at the moment. None of this gives pure sprint. Okay, interesting. I guess, are there any feet that would work? There are the suction cup feet. Hmm. Should we go for suction cup feet? I was originally not going to, but there are only 25. I think we should go for suction cup feet. Hmm. What do they look like? Okay. Um, maybe I'll just shrink them down and then put him there. And then now I can kind of just have a suction cup on the end of each foot. So that way we have feet, but kind of also still look like we're on our tentacles. Okay, I think that works. Hold on, let me actually let's resituate these a little bit. So that they're just a little bit better placed. Put you there, put you there. A little bit better, like, dispersed space-wise. That way we can kind of do that and pull them in a little bit. You know what? I want to pull them in a little bit more, actually. Looks like we're really propping ourselves up on them. Great. Okay. I have no idea how this thing's going to walk. So, 
you know, your guess is as good as mine there. Now, we still have 63 left. Okay, let's get poison. Might as well. We'll get spit level two. I'm just going to try to kind of throw this on his undercarriage, I think. Um, um, hold on. Give me a second. That's close. Kind of makes him look like he has toxic udders. So that's not really the look we're going for. Um, okay, you know what? Let's just do a little under the hood type of deal here. Pop those apart, throw that down there, shrink it up, and replace. Beautiful. Now we got a little poison gland all nice and hidden. Not going to do charge. Probably not going to do strike either. So I think if we are going to be aggressive, the most we're going to have is bite and poison, which will kind of be, you know, a little bit of a restriction, but it'll help us focus a little bit more on social as well. Now, I would love for him to have sprint. So, I think the other thing I'm going to hide under the carriage here is a little bit of sprint. Now, octopus aren't really known for being particularly tanky, so I don't think we're going to worry about giving him more health either. So, I think this is kind of a good baseline for what he's going to actually end up being like and the stats he's going to end up having, despite, you know, eventually they'll be much improved. But okay, for now, he's looking great. We'll go to paint. I think for now, I'm going to leave him pretty much as is. Oh, God, he's starting to look like a little, like, dirty. I don't know. Maybe that'll wash off when he starts walking around. But this is no longer the Proctopus. This is officially our very first Oct. Octopus. Congratulations, everyone. You were here to witness it. Now, back into the world. Are we going to have a migration already? Or does that happen later? That happens later. Okay, cool. In that case, we're going to keep going at least for a little while. We have our pack mate. So, we're going to stick to social for the time being. Let's see how we actually walk. Oh, Lord. Why is he freaking out so much? Oh my god, each foot having to make a step really makes him just go buck wild. Okay, uh, how does he look? Oh! God, you scared the shit out of me. Maybe my volume's too high. Okay, let's see how he looks while he sprints. Nice. Okay, actually not too bad. And we can't jump, which I guess is fine. But, yeah, I mean, we're much faster now, so that's cool. We look a little silly. Oh, hello. Alpha Boulder Rat. Oh, you know what? This is actually a cool little sneak peek into a series I'll be doing soon, which is Spore Mixed with Pokemon. So if you're interested in watching that video, then be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and all that shit so you know when it comes out. Because it should be coming out soon. It's actually the biggest video I've ever made, like the biggest project. So you're not going to want to miss it. Now, Mr. Boulder Rat, can I... Okay, that's Pose? No, that's Charm, isn't it? Fuck! Okay, we're actually not doing that bad, so we might be able to do this. Just don't use charm. Use something else. Dance. I can do that. We clearly do not have much dance capability. But we should be able to sing. Ah! All right. Well, these guys are a little bit out of our price range, I think. That's fine. We'll keep looking for some other friend. Oh! Oh, wait. Oh, they did migrate. They just waited until we left first. That was kind of a dick move. Ah! Would you look at that? Dolug. Oh, you are... Man, I actually really want to kill you. Considering you are, um... Super, super weak. Okay, you know what? We're going to take advantage of this. And, uh... Wait, how do I have charge? Oh, maybe the beak gave me that? Something gave me gave me that. I, I didn't get that on purpose. But still. Ah! Alright, Mr. Dolugs. We're just going to take out this family of slugs. I feel like that's pretty classic octopus food. So, yeah. Give me a second here. Yes. Yes. Kill the slugs and eat their bodies. Is there an alpha I can kill? Yep, there sure is. Boop, and charge in. Yeah, these things have quite literally zero defenses, so we're pretty easily ripping them to shreds. And there they go. My uh, compatriot over there hunted down the last one, and the slugs are dead. All right, well, now we'll go back to socializing. We just had to uh, take advantage of that particularly easy prey. But I guess, for the time being, I'll start moving in the direction of our new nest. And we'll see who we meet over here. I can see there's a unknown species this way. Who are you? Oh, you look fancy. Well, they don't like us very much. They're also... Ooh, they're pretty adept at socializing, actually. Hmm. That is not really going to work for us. Oh, you know what we could do, though? Okay, let's use our octopus brain here. And uh, they're not going to like us doing this. But if they attack, we can do this. 
we can use our octopus roar, which, if you're wondering, is a real thing. And that'll make them all nice and scared, so we can just come in here and steal all their bones while they're scared. Yeah, that's right, y'all freaked out. Yo, what? What's wrong? What's wrong? Is the big bad octopus man stealing your bones while you're all scared and sad? Fucking loser. All right, let's get a couple more bones. Let's see. There's also... Okay, they're friendly. Peepish. Jesus Christ, that thing looks terrifying. But they are also friendly. Okay, we have a couple friend options. These guys look like they might be a bit tough. Ah, but Peepish will be nice and easy. Oh, it's a fish. All right, I guess... As much as that would probably be very easy prey, I mean, it is a fellow ocean creature, so, uh, all right, Peepish, you can be my friend. Fucking Subnautica looking ass. Oh my god, is that a- Oh my god, that's what the babies look like, dude? It's just a ball! It's just a sphere made out of pupils! Dude, that is not cool. Shit, dude, I- All right, I mean, I guess we're friends with these- these things, but- Jesus Christ. Okay, I gotta see what this thing looks like when it socializes. I just have to. Hello, baby. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I can't look at that anymore. Uh, let's just keep going this way. Our home base should be... Oh, what are you? Broid! Oh, they're friendly. Oh, they have 17 social, though. Holy shit. Big jacked dudes who are just charismatic as hell. I love that for them. All right, well, our new nest is just right over here, so let's... Slop on over there. Hey, boys! How's it hanging, fellas? The Octopus King has returned! Wow, I never actually watched the whole migration animation, but they actually, like, oh! They upgrade the nest and everything. Oh, and we got a bigger brain! That was easy. All right, all we had to do was migrate. Well, all right, I guess I'll grab all the parts laying around here because there are apparently a ton. And then we'll get an extra friend and maybe we'll do one final evolution to end off the first episode of the series. Hey, Mr. Broid. You don't mind if I just come over and take your bone, do you? I don't mean to, oh my God, that mustache is beautiful. What a, what an Adonis of a man. And I ain't talking about Drake's kid, well, Drake's first kid. Anyway, let's go back to the nest and mate, I guess. Yeah, it's time to evolve yet again. All right, Mr. Octopus, let's see what we unlocked. Oh, well, we got all of the stock eyes immediately. <laughs> That's funny, but okay. Whoa, we also got all of the mouths? Okay. Well, damn, I mean, shit. I think this is the only one that's actually accurate, so maybe we'll kind of just wait for a while and we'll get this kind of just eventually. Man, I can't believe we unlocked them all so fast. We actually got a lot of parts that time. Okay, well, cool. Uh, still nothing in the arms category to worry about. Same with, oh, hands we actually have, new suction cups and the sponge mitt. Damn, okay, and then in feet. Damn, we already have this too? Well, for feet we have to get three of them. So that's gonna be much harder to upgrade. But still, we have actually a surprising amount of parts unlocked. New spit as well. Did we get new sprint? Yes, we did. Wow, okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna get this guy a bit of a size upgrade as well. So uh, give me a second to uh, fully evolve him. All right, I got the basic body plan down to this, which I quite like, I'm happy with. I'm starting to make him a bit more upright. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna take it like into tribal stage, but I'm kind of liking starting to slowly go from classic octopus into a bit more anthropomorphized, I guess you could say. But for now, uh, what else do I want to change? I think, you know what, Bef with our last remaining bit of money, I'm gonna first of all change our eyes. And you know what? There's not really any reason to race through these, so I'm just going to go straight to the mean stock next. Even though we've unlocked them all, we can kind of just slowly uh, move our way through them as we evolve. Hold on, let me get these things actually facing a direction that makes any smidgen of sense. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, got a little tiny short stocks on this one. I'll take it. Now, I think it is worth getting the spit back, especially because we have spit level 2 now. Or spit level 3, is it? Spit level 3, even. 
Okay, hold on. I think I can finagle this. Yep, there we go. Now shrink it down. Beautiful. Now we only are left with four. So unfortunately, this iteration is going to be slower than the last because we don't have sprint. However, we do still have our feet, so that's still going to keep our speed better than the first iteration considerably. So for this next iteration, I'm still really liking the blue ringed octopus look, honestly. But I think we can mix it up a little bit. Let's go for a bit deeper of a red or of an orange to be clear excuse me and then you know what let's go for like a really deep let's go for like a really deep this color actually and then for the middle we'll go for like a kind of a bright true blue okay that's kind of an interesting color scheme you know what actually let's try it the other way around vibrant blue with a beautiful um actually we'll go for kind of like a brighter blue in the middle maybe kind of to really lighten him up yeah there we go now he's got quite the color to him hell yeah and he's still the octopus for now i think we'll we'll start changing that name when he gets a little bit more mm, tribal you could say but gamers that is where i am going to end this video if you want notifications slash to know when the next episode comes out then subscribe you bozos so many of you fuckers watching these four videos aren't even subscribed so get on it click the bell too i don't really know what what that all means but might as well and comment i like read all my comments so i'd love to see them tell me what you want to see in spore also tell me if you want to see another episode and i'll have one out probably within a couple weeks but gamers that's gonna do it for now join the discord if you haven't already to hang out and show your spore creations and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, jankheads.